हाय इट्स बीन सो लॉन्ग आई मिस्ड यू गाइस आई वाज खंड ऑक्युपाइड विद सर्टेन थिंग्स बट नाउ माय माइंड इज फ्री आई कैन फाइनली से दैट एंड इट फील्स सो लिब्रेटिंग सो लिब्रेटिंग I had a lot of work to do in the past few days. I had my exams. I had some broken friendships. I had some events that I had to manage and then the situation in my house was kind of disturbing. Like my mental peace was literally shattered into pieces. I was not myself for the past few days and I need emotional support and uh, you know what the thing about me is that whenever I'm distressed I just completely zone out I uh, make myself comfortable in my own company I push people away I feel like I don't need to burden them with my sorrows with my worries like I feel do you feel the same way I feel like I'm just uh, embarrassing myself I can't help but wonder that if I'm sad why would they be sad why should I burden them with my own thoughts and worries I don't know if I am correct or not but I was kind of like this and it felt so good being away from social media being away from uh, like friends I don't have that many friends uh, which I can rely on but still I distanced myself from them and uh, that was kind of liberating you know what uh, from the past few days my family has been pressuring me to choose a partner to marry with and i didn't know what to do i was like so distressed i i i don't know <laughs> i'm uh, i don't know why my eyes are becoming so teary why while talking about it but they said oh yeah why don't you get married don't you think this is the right time to find a partner and get married to him and i was like i don't know please don't ask me please don't tell me that there is a certain boy waiting for you to get married with i don't know i felt like i'm not mentally prepared for it sometimes we think that uh, all we need to do is to focus on our career and that, that is the main thing that matters and i was like what would i do if i ever get married like i never ever thought about getting married so that was exhausting for me and uh, i talked to friends about it i talked about it i was so distressed i thought maybe uh, what if i make a wrong decision what if i am wrong what will happen to me i had so many questions and all of them lead me to nowhere so i asked them and they were like oh you know better you if you can adjust you should go for it if you can do they do that i said to them i said i said like i'm not here to ask for some advice like i know what is good or what is bad i'm here to tell me what would you do if you were in my shoes do you get it and i felt that they were kind of jealous of me i had a very good opportunity to go to canada or us but i didn't agree to that and uh, maybe i'll regret it in the future or maybe i'll not i don't know but my heart wasn't satisfied i feel like there was always some throbbing <laughs> hard sound in my chest area and i could literally feel it 
this is what we call palpitations in medical field which is awareness of the heartbeat and i could feel my heart in my body in my chest it was literally like near my ears all the time and i was anxious bro <laughs> i didn't know what to do i had no way to go so all i used to do was to make myself busy busy with the routine busy with study work internship etc and i kind of ate like a lot of junk food which i think i did bad which disturbed my stomach Uh, my head was already messed up i know there was like headache all the time my neck and head muscles uh, they were like cervicogenic headache if you know about it uh, and uh, then i was like uh, why is there i am why is why am i nauseous all the time i was nauseous i felt like um, body ache is all over my body like pain in my body but i kept on without telling anyone and uh, i think you should not do that in your situation you know what yesterday while uh, we arranged a cupping session with our uh, professor there were juniors and we the senior okay i was the senior one in the whole class and uh, there was a conference on cupping session so i was standing on the front watching it step by step this is was uh, this was my first time seeing a cupping session so i had to learn it by heart a very good teacher he is who was uh, teaching us cupping so you know what happened i was listening to him watching him everything then suddenly i kind of feel like i zoned out like i thought the world is moving apart and apart and it is silenced and i told my friend that i'm feeling dizzy and she said what i said yeah uh, okay fun fact i've never fainted in my entire life so i didn't know what it felt like uh, being fainted <laughs> so yeah i <laughs> i uh, suddenly i felt i felt like the whole world was spinning around my head and it was so calming so soothing but then for 5 seconds i fainted i fell on my back and my friend uh, uh, like grabbed me and this uh, she said what happened i said no no i'm okay i'm okay and i was kind of embarrassed as hell and the junior saying oh senior fell oh sh- a senior girl fell uh, take her up and i was like no no i'm okay i'm okay and uh, i don't know why happened to me <laughs> actually i know why happened to me but that's life everything goes on no one stops for you to caress you or console you actually welcome to the adult life this is adult life you go through a lot and never tell anybody about it and i think it's fun and depressing at the same time <laughs> i know i bored you with all of my life conversation but since i can't afford a therapy so i made this podcast to share my thoughts and i felt like it Uh, there's a time sometimes when you feel like it but can't tell anyone or you won't tell anyone because no one cares this is your battle and you have to fight it and i know you got my point never tell your weaknesses to anyone because they will use it against you when the time comes and you must know your worth and don't let anybody get you down you are the hero of your own story main character energy yeah i used that caption a while ago and i am proud of myself that i went through all of it without telling anyone but yeah i'm gonna work on my diet <laughs> okay bye bye <laughs>